I will put the, the links down below to each of the curriculums that I'm talking about. Um, but if you want the actual, like, file, then maybe just leave a comment down below. And then maybe I'll just upload a link to the my description so you guys can download it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And I wanted to share with you guys what I have planned for my homeschooling years. Um, especially maybe if you're kind of like wondering what the heck am I going to do and things like that. This is, I, I'm a planner and organizer. So for me, I didn't want to be stressing every year like what am I going to teach or what curriculum I'm going to use. I already have it all planned out from pre-K, preschool to 8th grade because I'm planning to stop at 8th grade. And so I researched all the curriculums and I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and so based off of that I um, decided what years I was going to use what curriculum and if I was going to stick to just one or if I was going to like alternate between two which I am going to be doing in some of the years I'm going to be alternating like for history and I think science and for English I'm going to start off with one curriculum and and then switch to the other one just because it stops at a starting grade and so then I need to fill it up with something else and it is um by then they're a little bit older so then I felt like another curriculum would be fine so that's what I did um so the topics that I wanted to make sure to cover obviously I also use the I live in California so I use the California standards to kind of guide me in the things that I really needed to teach my child but at the same time, I wanted to incorporate my own uh, like Bible curriculum because I that's an important aspect of our lives. So I'm going to start off with Bible as a subject. Then we have English, which, which English, which covers reading, comprehension, writing, and spelling. And then we have math, science, history, PE, and geography for the first few years and then we also have like us the second language which will be spanish but i also want to incorporate french and then um and then i also have like a creative section like a life skills creative option the first few years after kindergarten um we take away the geography so we only do geography the first three years which is a DK workbook that I showed in my other video. And then for for first grade, is it first grade? Yeah, from first grade to eighth grade, we will have the second language emphasis even um, stronger. So I want her to learn French because it's easier to learn French when you know Spanish. And so those kind of go hand in hand. <clears throat> I would like her to also learn Mandarin, but I know Mandarin's really hard. Um, I was thinking Russian. Russian's another one. I wanted to like for her to learn some other language besides French just because French does go kind of like with Sp with Spanish. So that's where I got French from because I wanted to learn I wanted her to learn another language that was kind of easy to learn after you already know Spanish. So that that's where my logic came in from. So I'm looking at my phone because that's where I have like the curriculum that's where you can see all the colorful stuff so that's where I, I have it so I started off with preschool which is what I did um, I didn't buy anything like for my Bible section um, subject I only use devotionals there's this book that we use um, for Daniel Tiger books we used it as like reading comprehension um, we used the wipe and clean tracing book for her writing um, we used um, her ABC flashcards um, and her first words for her second language, we use the Spanish workbook. There's also for math, there's this, the 180 days um, practice, which is what I used. And then for history, I like to use um, books like Ordinary People and just read those and cut, kind of like talk about those certain um, history events. And then geography, the workbook that we used. And then for PE, we there's this book called 303 exercise games book but we also tend to use youtube videos for dancing and working out so that's what i've been using lately um and that's what you saw in my other video the um routine or homeschooling routine if you haven't seen it i will link it down below so you guys can go watch that it's towards the end of the video if you're just interested in the um the routine 
Then for the summer, I do want to do summer units. So I have uh, summer units planned out in between each year. So the first one will be like this summer, we, which we want to focus on penguins. We want to learn about penguins. So it's all about penguins. And then the second year will be butterflies, elephants, ocean, money, human body, advertisement and advertising and marketing. And then um, maybe just like women's studies. So just like learning about women, strong women in history and things like that. So those are all my summer units that I have planned out. I might switch them, but for now I think we're going to keep them like that. I really wanted to incorporate the whole money aspect of it. I want her to learn how to do, like, learn about credit and all that. And the human body, you know, it's during that age. I put that unit between fourth and fifth grade because I know there's young girls that develop a lot sooner. And I just want to be able to have that conversation with her by that time, starting to, like, prep her, you know, for the whole other subjects that she will probably, we will probably be covering by the time she goes to eighth grade or, like, middle school sixth seventh eighth grade because by that time they know a lot more than you think they know if they go to public school if they're homeschooled they probably won't know as much because they have no one really to influence them in those areas but uh, of course i want her to be prepared i want her to know all the facts so that's what and if you guys are interested in having this little um what is this plan uh like a whole year spectrums and the curriculum that I'm using, I can share it with you guys and send like a link or like a PDF link or something like that. And so for my curriculums that I'm going to start using after for kindergarten, let's say kindergarten. So for kindergarten, I want to be able to use the, for the Bible and Incred Indescribable. Um, it's a book. Also, you can find it on Amazon. And then we're going to be using Positive Actions, um, Learning About God that workbook and then for English we're using all about reading and writing without tears and all about spelling so that's for English for creativeness um, that year we're gonna focus on music so instruments and things like that and then for math we're using horizons for math and for science we're using sunlight K for history we, we will be using my father's world God's creation A through Z and then geography, we're going to continue using DK's workbooks. Um, I'm just going to use the kindergarten version that I mentioned. And then for PE, we're probably going to start working on that book, the 303 exercises, games. It has games that you can do. Um, at the moment, that's just a little bit difficult doing it here. That's why I kind of lean towards the videos because I don't have a yard. We live in an apartment, and so I don't really have space to go outside and do fun games yet. Um, if anything, I can take her to the playground during the weekends. So Then first grade kind of repeats the same thing. Um, we continue with the music lesson. For math, we use pro we, we will start using Prodigy. I mentioned that also in my other video. Prodigy is like a video game that they can start using and playing at the same time. So I kind of, I will allow some time for her to do that alongside with Horizons. Then for Science, we're doing Sunlight A. And then for History, we're going to continue with My Father's World. And then we're going to, that year, we're going to start using um, the Second Language Curriculum, which I'm planning to use duolingo just to as like an aid and then i want her to like just focus on that i want to um get her a tutor for both languages that she will be used um learning because i feel like that's the only way she's gonna learn and then for pe youtube videos so that's gonna continue eventually for english i'm always gonna be using um the all about reading and all about spelling and writing without tears Eventually, that's going to switch. That's going to switch to language lessons for today, which is another one. Um, it, and it's Christian, of course. So it's going to switch to that and then like Christian light. So that's for English. For math, we're going to keep using Prodigy and then we're going to go with Horizon, Horizons. And eventually, it's going to switch to living education, education. And then for sun, um, for science, we're going to continue using sunlight. But eventually, we're going to alternate between sunlight and 
um, what's it called? Baron Builders? Baron Builders? I think that's what you say. And then also for history, we're going to continue using my father's world. I really like that curriculum from what I've researched. Um, I really liked it. And then only for one year, I believe that we're going to switch to Sunlight's um, for fourth grade. We're going to switch to Sunlight's World History B plus C. It kind of combines them. Um, I wanted her to have a good review of all history not just u.s history so of course it's also christian it has a, Nick, a christian um foundation so my it's gonna have like for history it starts with god's creation a through z then it has learning god's story adventures in u.s history then the the rome to reformation then exploring countries and cultures and then history, Greek history and 1850 history. I guess it starts from there and like before that. And then also 1850 to modern times. So it's kind of an overall view. And if there's anything missing, I'm probably going to like sneak it in there in within the curriculum. The second language, we're going to also be using Rosetta Stone. Um... If I don't get the tutor, we probably will start off with Rosetta Stone and then get the tutor. Just so it can be even more, um, better, I guess. Because we'll start with Duolingo, we'll probably move to Rosetta Stone, and then I'm going to move on to the, to the tutor. Okay, so. so basically that is it. Um, I really liked Sunlight, Horizons, My Father's World. Um, Baron Builders. I don't know if I'm saying that right. If I'm not, I'm so sorry. And then, um, all about writing, all about reading, and writing without tears, which only goes so far, and then eventually I have to switch. And then I will be using positive actions, um, what's it called? Like curriculum for each grade. They have one. So I will leave the link down below so you can go for the K, first, second, third grade, fourth, fifth. And so it's just obviously, um, like a workbook and it has a teacher's manual as as well so i've already worked with that for my church and then that's pretty much it that is all i have planned out for eighth grade so then all i have to do and i even included the links for each of the curriculum so i just have to click on it the year that comes i have to go and click on each one buy everything all about reading and all about writing and all that it's like a hundred and something so it's probably gonna be like in total of like 200 bucks and then so each year it does get a little bit more expensive in total i think i'm budgeting for a thousand dollars each year for um the curriculums and any other supplies i know that sounds like a lot and it probably is gonna be a lot but I'm going to be using that same curriculum with Adara, so I'm kind of investing on it. And we are planning on having more children, whether through adoption or I think physically, I think I might have one more. I don't know. Um, but we are planning to have more than one, two children. So um, I'm just going to be using the same curriculum unless... For unless I really see that the curriculum is not working out for that child, then I'm going to have to tweak it if possible and if not I, I probably will switch curriculums if it's really that necessary um but i think it'll be fine for the most part and then i'll be able to tweak it or go at their pace if they're not getting it so i think it's a really well ba balanced um plan for me so i hope it's helpful for any of you guys and if it's not i'm so sorry um but i really like those curriculums and i'm excited to use them i once i start ordering them i will be doing some unboxing and reviews on them as well for you guys to just kind of have more i guess more information of, uh, about uh, more information about it so anyways i hope this helped and i'll see you guys in my next video bye